Hi, it's Ted from Think Tank. I'm here today with Deanne Fitzmorris, renowned photojournalist, Pulitzer Prize winner, and co-founder of Think Tank Photo. Welcome, Deanne. Thanks, Ted. It's great to be here. I'm really excited to talk about this new series of bags that we designed, the Press Pass series. Um, it's really great that we've been able to go back to our roots and to develop a bag made specifically for photojournalists. And the one thing that's extra special about the Press Pass is that you helped develop the series by sharing your own vast experience in photojournalism with our design team. We also brought in more than 30 different photojournalists to collect their input during the design process. This resulted in us designing not just one, but three distinct bags to fit a wide range of workflows. We couldn't have done it without them. So the result was a Press Pass 10, 20, and the Press Pass sling bag. So Deanne, let's get straight to the point and talk about why these bags are so great for photojournalists. We all share the need to pack light and to access our gear quickly, but we have different preferences in how we want to carry the bag. Well, that's why you can't just have one bag for everybody. So let's take a look at the characteristics of each bag individually. The Press Pass 10 can be worn as a crossbody bag, a shoulder bag, or a belt pack. Press Pass 20 is ideally worn as a shoulder bag, but can also be worn as a belt pack. And the Press Pass Sling, well, you guessed it, it's a sling bag. With the 10 and the 20, the different strap attachment points are used to set up the bag for different types of carry options. Here we have the Press Pass 10 set up crossbody. The Press Pass 10 can also be set up as a shoulder bag. Here we have the Press Pass 20 set up as a shoulder bag, a more classic carry option. What's cool about the Press Pass sling is you can carry it on your back as you maneuver through crowds and then swing it around the front as you need to access your gear. And this wide padded strap is super comfortable for all day carry. So we've seen the Press Pass worn as a crossbody bag, a shoulder bag, and a sling bag. But Deanne, you have a different way you like to wear the bag. Yeah, I like wearing it as a belt pack. I prefer to have the weight distributed on my hips and not on my neck and shoulders. So we built in a tuck away waist belt. Simply pull the waist belt from these hidden pockets on the back of the bag and you've got yourself a belt pack. We refined the design of this waist belt and it's extremely comfortable even when the bag's filled with gear all day. I can see photographers wearing this bag in different ways throughout the day, depending on their work and their comfort needs. Right. To make the Press Pass a more soft and pliable bag, we designed it with a removable padded insert. You don't always need all this padding, and I find that the bulk just gets in my way. Yeah, and this is nice. It's still nice and flexible, and I see the bottom is still padded, so you can set the bag down on the ground without damaging your camera. That's right, and the dividers can always be repositioned into the bag. So Deanne, let's show them what fits in these bags. Yeah, well this is the Press Pass 10, and this will hold a standard size body with a 24 to 70 f4 attached, but in this case I'm using it as a lens changer. So here we have the Press Pass 20. Now Deanne, I noticed you didn't have a 70 to 200 in the Press Pass 10. Right, so that's why we designed the Press Pass 20 to be tall enough to accommodate the 70 to 200 2.8. Well, we still have one more bag in the series, the Press Pass Sling Bag. It has a wide padded shoulder strap and a tuck away stabilizer strap in case you need to run with it. Yeah, like we usually do. <laughs> Let's show them what fits in this bag. Yeah, this bag will fit a standard size body with a 70 to 200 28. And in this case, we're using it as a lens changer. All three bags have an extra wide opening main compartment, self-locking YKK RC fuse zippers, the removable padded insert, a deep pleated front pocket, and a rear zippered pocket. All three sizes have a flat base to keep it balanced and upright so you can work out of it. And they have a top grab handle and a seam sealed rain cover that's in a little stash pocket at the bottom of the bag, which adds a little more padding. And like many Think Tank products, they're built with super durable nylon fabrics that are treated with a water resistant coating so you don't have to worry about inclement weather. I've been using the Press Pass on all of my assignments lately, and I have to say, it is truly one of the best bags I've ever used. And we really appreciate all the guidance we received from the photojournalists who helped us develop these bags. The Press Pass comes from the core of Think Tank's DNA. It's built by photographers for photographers. Mm -hmm.